Hello Coronado, this is Michael Anderson, the current president for the uh, Coronado Neighborhood Association. Uh, welcome to our virtual annual meeting. Uh, we hope everyone is um, staying safe uh, and everyone is well. Uh, so thanks for attending our virtual meeting. Uh, obviously we can meet in person due to the uh, public gathering restrictions in place, uh, but we wanted to make sure we, we got this information out to you. It's very important. This is our general meeting, uh, general, our annual meeting, uh, where a new board is elected. That's the uh, most important thing that we'll be talking about tonight. Um, but some housekeeping things. Um, in a little bit, Tom Wright, who is our acting treasurer, will give us a financial recap. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll get into some of the candidates. Um, just as a, uh, um, just to let you know, memberships in, uh, as of right now, are 445. We had 22 people sign up in April. Uh, we get a, usually get an a uptick of, of memberships in April, um, specifically because of the election. So members that were uh, active members of the association as of April 9th uh, and um, prior are all eligible to vote. So that's another reason that um, you should join the CNA and, and uh, remain an active member. You can vote. You can also run for um, a position on the board uh, as these uh, candidates have uh, raised their hands and are going to do so this coming year. Um, so, uh, the way it's going to work, um, since we can't gather in person, uh, all of our voting this year will be done electronically. So, those of you that have, that have been members of the association as of April 9th um, will be getting an email. Uh, that email will give you a unique, unique code that you'll be able to go into the ballot and make your selections and submit it. And then all those uh, records get aggregated and we'll have a final tally uh, at the conclusion of voting, which would be uh, sometime tomorrow. At that point, the um, candidates, the winning candidates will be um, named and you'll have your new board for uh, active uh, as of uh, May 9th, May 8th. All right, so before we get into the, the candidate videos, um, I thought I'd go over some of the uh, mechanics of the election. If you've never uh, participated before, this might be helpful. If you have, uh, maybe you'll get a snack and come back later, I don't know. Um, the uh, board has four named positions and five directors at large. The four named positions are president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, uh, and as I mentioned, five directors at large. So currently, um, Tom Wright is um, running for president, Eddie Green is running for vice president, Karen Boyer Caranova is run running for secretary, uh, and the director candidates are Willie Summers, Scott Brown, Cheryl Borowski, Rebecca Santiago, Tom Kelly, and Annie Voss. Um, what you'll notice when you get your ballots is um, there is an opportunity to um, write in a candidate. So um, uh, any one of these positions, um, can you can have a writing candidate for any of them. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself at president at the Coronado neighborhood.com. Uh, we've got a, a really strong group of, of neighborhood volunteers who are heading up our elections committee to make sure this goes as smoothly as possible, keeping in mind it's the first time we've ever done this. Um, so they've done a great job and I'm, I'm happy to, to pass your questions on to them and get them answered for you so that you can make educated decisions. Uh, get out there and vote and uh, I'll see you later. Hey everybody, it's Tom Wright. I'm the acting treasurer for the Coronado Neighborhood Association. I'm gonna give the uh, month end report for April, 2020. So I'll start out with cash balances uh, that we held in our check, uh, checking and savings accounts at Chase uh, at the beginning of the fiscal year, June 1, 2019. The total of those two accounts was $77,684. And now, uh, today, we have $102,783 in checking and savings. It's a 35% increase uh, in total cash assets, largely attributed to the fact that we had very successful home tour and Wayne's Fest uh, fundraising events. Uh, also, in the month of April, the activity report for this month, uh, ending April 30th, is uh, that we had $6,520 in revenue, we had $1,222 in expenses, and that means we had a net income during the month of April for $5,298. If you have any questions about this information, you can reach me at director.tom at the Coronado neighborhood.com. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
My name is Karen Boyer Caravona, and I'm running for secretary of the CNA board. My husband and I have lived in Coronado since about 2012, and we really love it here. We really appreciate the culture of dogs, bicycles, music, and food, lots of food. So my reason for wanting to join the board isn't attached to any particular agenda. I mostly just want to be a part of preserving and building upon the things about the neighborhood that are already really awesome. I don't have a lot of complaints. I've been involved in the neighborhood already in activities like neighborhood cleanups, including the home tour pre-cleanup for the last two years. And that's really been an awesome experience, um, though a little overwhelming at times. There's always somebody available, though, to point you in the right direction. So I've really appreciated that and learned a lot from it. In terms of what I bring to the board, I have served on two neighborhood association boards in other places that I've lived in, in a similar capacity and been involved in neighborhood cleanups and garden tours, those types of activities. I've worked with two city governments, including in my position in Louisville as a legislative aide. And there I worked with seven neighborhood associations. And I did things like um, a lot of casework with them, working with people on individual issues that they may be having with the recycling pickup or something like that, but then also helping neighborhood associations apply for grants and that type of thing. So I have a lot of familiarity with city processes and what types of things that they expect from neighborhood associations and, and types of assistance and support that they can provide us. So um, anyway, that's, that's who I am. Um, other than I'm also a social worker and an occasional sketchbook artist around the neighborhood. I hope that you will honor me with your trust and your vote. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Becky Santiago. Uh, I'm a resident of Coronado for just about two years now. I live at 10th Street and Palm. Um, I'm interested in running for the director position, one of the director positions on the board um, because I'm very uh, vested in cities as, in general. Um, I'm a trans transportation planner for HDR. Our offices are at Thomas and Central. My main client is Valley Metro in the US Bank building downtown. So um, I sort of live, breathe, uh, eat, sleep, transportation planning and um, light rail, bicycle planning, everything of that nature. I'm very passionate about it. I'm very passionate about community planning. Um, I'm involved with uh, the Creighton Community Foundation, which supports the, I'm pointing like you guys know, the orientation of my room, um, the Creighton School District uh, just west of us. Um, I mean, excuse me, just east of us. Um, supports their school district. I've been involved with them for two years since I moved down here. And we've, uh, we're working in a community garden. We've done a bunch of alley cleanups um, and just supporting the community and those schools in whatever way we can. Um, and I would like to bring the, that experience both from my transportation planning and urban planning experience as well as the um, volunteer experience with the communities in the low-income neighborhoods um, just east of us um, and bring my knowledge and skills and experience to Coronado Neighborhood Association um, and, you know, learn about all the great things and, and help with all the great things that um, make this neighborhood so uh, awesome and, and fun to live in. So um, I hope you would consider my uh, self-nomination, I guess. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye. Hi, friends and neighbors. My name is Eddie Green, and I am currently the Vice President of the Coronado Neighborhood Association. I've been on the board for the last two years, first as director and then as vice president. I've also been fortunate enough to be the home hunter lead uh, for the last two years for home tour. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed the, the homes we've had. My team and I have worked really hard to get those homes. Um, I've also been fortunate enough to have my company sponsor the volunteer dinner the night before. Um, I would like to continue my work uh, for the neighborhood and do one more year as vice president and hopefully have another home tour that's gonna be an amazing year. 
So if you have faith in me, I'm asking you to please reelect me as vice president. And I promise to work as hard as I can to make our neighborhood even better than it is today. Thank you. Be safe. Be healthy. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Cheryl Varosky, and I am running for the director position with the Coronado Neighborhood Association. I'm going to openly admit that I'm reading this off a piece of paper because I have tried multiple times to try and ad lib this and it's not working. So here we go. Although I have only lived in Coronado for one year, I have already been heavily involved in the community. I ran the 1.6, slung beer at Wayne Fest, organized the transportation and volunteer dinner for the home tour, and hosted the last stop of the most recent porch concert series. Through the, what? <laughs> in conjunction with everything else that I've listed, I also organized the first St. Patrick's Day reverse parade. I'm also uh, Willow Day Coronado's roommate. And if I could bring all of that to you in the first year, imagine what I can bring to you in the years to come. Please vote for me, Cheryl V for CNA director. All right, well, those are some of your candidates. Um, what you didn't see there and what you won't see tomorrow on the ballot is my name. Um, I've been serving on the Coronado Neighborhood Association Board um, for the past five years in some capacity. Uh, it's been an extraordinarily nurturing experience for me. Um, I hope you feel that I've represent, represented the neighborhood well. Um, we've done some amazing things with some amazing people. Uh, and I, I have no doubt that the board of next year and the future will do great things, um, but it really depends on you. Um, I'd encourage you all to, to get active. Um, when I and my wife moved to the neighborhood, uh, we joke about this. Uh, we went to the, our first meeting and I walked out of there saying, I'm never going to do that. Um, and here I am. So it, it just takes taking that first step, getting active, um, really making the neighborhood what you want it to be. Um, there are pet projects that I did when I was on the board. I encourage you, if you've got something to feel, you feel strongly about, join the board. And even if you're not going to join the board, get active in the association. It really is a, um, a, a quite, a, quite an interesting thing and you can get a lot out of it. And at the very least, you'll meet a lot, a lot of really cool people. So I wanted to thank you all for, um, for entrusting me with this um, responsibility for the past five years. And, uh, I'll still be around. Um, you can't miss me. I'm usually the guy uh, wearing a gorilla costume, driving a very tiny golf cart. So if you see me, wave me down. I'll be glad to talk to you. Thanks, Coronado.